Namaskar traders and very good morning. Today we are on the um, 12th of November 2022. It's around noon in the afternoon. Um, we are looking at um, the Nifty um, chart with uh, various ratios like uh, uh, price to book and EPS and P. <clears throat> well, the objective of this video is uh, essentially from a recent um, discussion uh, which I had recently wherein we spoke about the Nifty PE being relatively lower in relation to where the Nifty in terms of its price lies. I've got some requests to dig a little bit deeper into it and uh, bring in some other angle. So we will talk about the Nifty PE, um, we'll talk about why is it so low and that's why we'll go to EPS and then we'll try and take a look at the Nifty PB ratio also and do a comparative analysis with the behavior of Nifty, the price of Nifty. So step number one, we take a look at Nifty PE, price to earnings, okay? <clears throat> and uh, this is around a one year data. What I would like to see is a five year data. It gives us a perspective. <laughs> now, interesting is this area, which is uh, beginning of 2020, just before the COVID. Um, the market cracked, by the way, this light purplish line is uh, Nifty and this uh, darkish pink line is Nifty PE. So we can see that both of them had come down significantly, after which you had a great run up. And I'm first interested in this rally of Nifty, wherein I can see that the PE also rallied significantly. And this was like exceptional case because this is the first time ever you would see a Nifty PE at the level of 41.97, close to 42. Conventional theory is like above 25, 26 overbought market. You should go light on equity and shift a bit towards debt. Conventional theory is like anything Nifty PE value below, let's say um, 18, 15, beautiful time to get overbought on equity and reduce debt. But what happened to Nifty PE at 42? We'll talk about this. Now after that, what happened? After that, <coughs> Nifty went into a range. Nifty PE corrected a little bit. After that, Nifty picked up and made a new high. PE continued to uh, decline. Nifty has been in a range bound and recently has broken above that these levels on the upside. But PE has continuous, continuously come down and now off late has just picked up a little bit. And today, as we um, discuss about these concepts, as I record this video, Nifty PE is around 22, 21.92. So market is back to its high, but PE is nowhere back to its previous highs. Now let's first break down the PE. So price to earnings, price numerator, earnings the denominator. And over here, this movement of the market was exceptionally strong because after the COVID, we have seen the easing um, across the globe, printing of money and liquidity coming in. So liquidity was a big push. So <clears throat> if price has gone up, if the, num if the numerator has gone up, but the ratio has not gone up, on the other hand, the ratio has fallen, it means that the denominator must have gone up significantly. That's why it has kept the ratios short, small. Is that the case? Now we'll get a better picture if we take a look at EPS. Earnings per share. Now if you take a look at EPS, our first point of uh, start of this discussion is Jan 2020. After which we saw the COVID crash and this entire area of March 20 to I can say end of 2020, beginning of 21, this entire area was, uh, we don't know what's going to happen, right? Uh, lockdowns, uh, uncertainty to a huge extent. And what this does to the, to the economy and what it does to the, to the companies and their earnings is earnings comes down. So earnings came down and the base, the, the, uh, the denominator that we're talking about has come, come off significantly and the base is pretty low. From there, the earnings, look at the way the earnings has bounced back. So because of the fact that the denominator has risen significantly, my PE ratio has not risen back to those 41, 42. 
by the way levels of 41 42 was exceptional and i don't expect that those kind of levels will be sustained even taken out and then sustained we can continue to expect that uh, nifty pe going above 25 or so should be considered as an overbought condition for the market so this solves the problem this solves the issue that why irrespective of the fact that the nifty is at at, at its all time high close to its all time high nifty pe is not even close to 42 one 42 is an exaggeration um, let's go to pe <clears throat> okay let's go to five year pe let's do all the data that i ha that we have on this chart for pe and what do you see you see the the 2007 top pe at 27.8 so 28 before that pe readings of around uh, 21 22 had created some tops 25 and a half 23 24 27 28 29 30 so till that point till we got 42 <clears throat> till this area okay we have seen a threshold of above 24 25 the moment it goes above that level i think people would like to go underweight on equity and slightly overweight, overweight on debt and this is how asset allocators asset allocation funds are maintained they use this and some other aspects also so we should consider this this move as an exaggeration okay now we are at 21 <clears throat> still we still have, still have some room we still have some some headroom till we start to call that the overall market is in terms of the pe overbought done number one so the main reason was the exceptional growth of eps now we will go to eps once once again earnings have improved that's a good sign uh, this would this will attract value buyers 2022 has primarily been a sell-off market from a pi uh, from fia point of view now over the last eight nine days they have started to buy into the market nibbling into the market so the flow from fis can come in and if it does, then the market can take us further up. Let's try to understand what's happening with the EPS. Now, this chart doesn't look that great. I'll reiterate once more. The purplish line over here is our Nifty. The dark pinkish line is our EPS. Now, from the low base, this is again, just say uh, the 42 reading of PE was an exaggeration. We say this kind of a fall in earnings is also an exaggeration because this was a one-off uncertain black swan kind of an event so it's called discount we cannot expect earnings to correct like this it just happened because of something that we could not foresee but uh, if <clears throat> if we take a base if we do not consider this low if we consider this these levels then earnings uh, nifty earnings eps is around 444 400 right now we are at around 800 around. so it has kind of doubled from this i'm not considering the low and uh, i think this all data that i have here even when earnings goes up like this 100 percent kind of a, a doubler kind of a move uh, this we are looking at levels of around 2009 eps around those so those so thus 210 this is around 390 400 and this created a little bit of top for the market so is the eps extended overbought is it time for a due a slowdown correction possible but let's understand this this aspect these are all indicators which are trying to indicate something ratios so we cannot use these ratios to time the market the best thing that we can use to time the market is the price itself so we can create a view but we take the action based on the price we do not take the action based on on the eps over here well now there's another ratio which is the price to uh, book uh, which can be an interesting aspect here it is it is one ratio which mirrors with the behavior of the nifty uh, really well and uh, this is the chart of uh, nifty with its uh, pb ratio over here they have given us um, the definition taking from investopedia essentially it is your uh, uh, the book value is essentially the total assets minus your liabilities and intangible assets um, and if you take a look at the current situation we see a reading of PB of around 4.3 and the recent short term tops had been when the PB had gone to close to 4, 4.6. A reading of 4.5 and, and above is what has created the short term tops like this, this and this. 
Uh, right now we are here, but it's nowhere close to those levels. So we see that earnings have improved. We see that PB is still lower than its previous level. Nifty PE, of course, from where we started this entire discussion is significantly lower. Um, but these are all um, indications. Uh, the final decision needs to be taken from price. Price is holding really well. We are very close to all time highs and participation is coming in from the large caps. FII's have just started to buy. And so um, we can expect further upsides from the market. We should continue to stay bullish. All right, so this was our discussion with um, the Nifty PE, Nifty EPS and uh, the price to book ratio. What can we wrap it up? What can we sum it up by saying that the earnings, the growth in the earnings, especially in percentage wise because of the low base is the main reason why we have seen a lower reading on the Nifty PE. Uh, but overall, I think the important thing from here on is whether the FIIs will start to pump in and start to create more liquidity for the Indian markets going forward or not. Um, they have just started to nibble into the market. They have been selling the entire 2022, but probably now they are starting to realize that the stocks that I sold at a lower price I may have to land up buying them at a higher price and this can lead the next move on the upside. I'm staying bullish on the market. Uh, any kind of a short term correction form from here on, I would be looking at first as an opportunity to buy rather than something, um, you know, uh, liquidate or go underweight on the equity market. I don't see any kind of such reading from these parameters or from the nifty price itself. Do let me know your, uh, your thoughts about it. Till then, take care of yourselves, trade well and trade wise.